Hello, my name is Imad Abu and I'm professor at the University of Aix-Marseille. Today I will talk to you about the bioactivity of tricalcium silicates. And to some people, it is confusing the term bioactivity. So I would like to insist on what is meant of bioactivity. Please note that in the word bioactivity, there is bio. And bio means the material should be in contact with a living tissue or with living cells. So this means that while long time before we used to accept that the material be not toxic or well tolerated, now we will want the material to be bioactive. Bioactive means what? Means it interacts with the target tissue and it induces specific functions. And these specific functions will depend on the target tissue that we will consider. So if we are, for example, considering a restorative material, the target tissue to be considered is the dental pulp. So for tricalcium, silic for tricalcium silicate setting, the reaction is a hydration reaction. It is simply a mix of a liquid containing water and a powder. And this reaction is what is called hydration. And the hydration of this type of material is very important because it is responsible of the major properties of this material. As you can see here, when you mix the material with the liquid, you will get a dissolution of a part of the particles, of the powdered particles. These will precipitate on the other particles and within the spaces, leading to the formation of what we call calcium silicate hydrogen. This will decrease the pores between the particles and this will significantly increase the compressive strength stress of the material. So the setting reaction, which is the hydration, is responsible for the major properties of this type of material, that is the bioactivity of this material. And what we see here is the compressive strength of biodontin as compared to ProRoot MTA and to Fusion Iron. And as you can notice, simply one hour after setting, the compressive strength is comparable to that of Fujin Iron, and it is much higher, of course, to that of uh, ProRoot MTA. After 24 hours, it even exceeds that of Fujin Iron, and most importantly, what you see here at the end is that after 28 days, the compressive strength of Bayerantin is equivalent to that of the natural dentin. And this is very important in clinic because this means that you can cut, shape, and reshape by a dentin in the same way I was, as you will do with dentin. And this important is very, this information is very important because it means that you can apply by dentin as a bulk restorative material, even to re replace the enamel, and afterwards you can reshape it and cover it with a composite resin material. The other important information to know about this setting reaction is the type of chemicals that are produced after setting. And the one you see in green, the hydroxyl ions, are responsible for the antibacterial activity of this material because it has an alkaline pH. And the other one that you see in red, calcium hydroxide, is responsible for the production of the dentin bridge because you know calcium hydroxide when applied directly onto the pulp it induces dentin bridge formation. So the, um, the alkaline pH which is produced after sitting is responsible for the antibacteria effects of biodentin and this is what you see here where when you apply biodentin on different bacteria strains you notice that there is an inhibition of the growth of all these bacteria and this inhibition is much higher with biodentin than it is with MTA or glass or cement. In the same way when there is a decrease of this inflammation and the production of calcium hydroxide this will lead to the production and the synthesis of dentin in the form of dentin bridge. This is what you see here in the human pulps after six months of pulp capping and you notice that bayodentine in the same way as, as MTA it reproduced a dentin bridge in six weeks and when you evaluate the inflammatory reaction within the pulp you notice that the heart tissue first of all is continuous in most of the cases and at the same time we have 
very slight inflammatory reaction. So as you notice with these uh, good properties of tricalcium silicates, as you notice that they are antibacteria, they have antibacterial activities, they can induce the regeneration. Some companies develop some uh, light cured materials. This can be the type of calcium hydroxide light cured materials or tricalcium silicate combined with resins. And the question or the arguments which are raised is that this is easy to apply with a syringe and at the same time it has a shorter sitting time by light curing. And the question which crosses my mind is, is this a real advantage? And we should go back to think of uh, the story again in answering this question. What is the spirit of the direct bulb cap? Is it to be fast or is it to keep the bulb vital? If it is to keep the valve vital, then we should forget about the speed. I was curious to know about the toxicity of this type of materials, and I found a paper indicating that um, light cured silicate is less toxic than two other materials. But when I look at the other materials, they also contain resins. So if we really want to compare this material, it should be compared to a control. And when we compare it to a control, this is what you see here. It looks like the material is toxic as it kills about 45% of the cells in a very short time. And um, it has repeatedly shown that even after complete polymerization, there is a release of high percentage of monomers. And we can find all monomers from composite resins that can be released in the medium. And these monomers have been shown to be toxic. So we investigated also the hydration of uh, these materials compared to biodentine. And what we noticed is the following, that after hydration, we do not find the um, calcium hydroxide production in any other materials except with biodentine. So this is what you see with this X-ray diffraction analysis and indicates that biodentine can induce dentin bridge formation due to the formation of calcium hydroxide and no calcium hydroxide was released with the light cured tricalcium silicate. So guys, long time ago, already in 2009, I wrote a book chapter in, as you can see here, and the conclusion of this book chapter about uh, resin-based material is that they cannot be recommended for direct bulk capping. So when you have the choice and when you decide, please think it over that you will need a bioactive material to keep the pulp vital. And if you use a resin-based material, there is a high risk that you will kill your pulp. And this is really not the spirit of the vital pulp therapy. Thank you.